Hello everybody, my name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. How you guys doing today? It is so beautiful to have you guys today, all right? You're welcome. So today we're trying to save a drowning sheep because lots of people are falling off the sheep and we're trying to hold them, some are sleeping off. So we are here on a mission today to save a drowning sheep. <laughs> So I would like to ask you guys for a special favor, please. I've never had to ask you guys for any favor before. <laughs> All right, so I would love you guys to follow me on Instagram. For some reason, I've not been able to get the desired traction that I need on Instagram. So if you're watching this video, please kindly go over to Instagram and follow us at uh, this handle that you have on the screen. And also follow us on Facebook as well. We will appreciate this because we would love to have that desired traction on Instagram, on Facebook, so that everybody will get to also have this information that you're also getting. All right, so let's spread the fun, let's spread the information, and let's all have fun together in the solar world. All right, so, a lot of people's lithium ion phosphate batteries might be in danger. So this video is essentially being made for three sets of people. All right, for number one, these guys are the luckiest because they just bought their lithium battery right now, fresh and brand new, and they're about to install it. You guys are the luckiest. You will need to buy me a beer for this because I saved you guys a whole lot of pain. <laughs> so that's number one. So number two, this set of guys, they've already started using their lithium battery pretty much halfway. All right. Mm, maybe the damage, maybe, maybe not. The damage hasn't been done. All right. So, but there's still something that can be done. So this information of this video is very vital for you. And for the third set of guys, this video is meant for, unfortunately, I don't have so much of a good news for you. It's already too late because the damage has already been done on your lithium battery and you don't even seem to have a clue yet where is it coming from i bought this lithium battery i was promised 6000 cycles which is approximately 16 years that i'm going to kick out of these batteries but all of a sudden the batteries have gone gagas it's <laughs> But eventually it's going to be a handy information because if your lithium battery is bad, you're going to have to replace it eventually, right? And if you do not know what the problem is, you're most probably going to make the same mistake again. So it's not a wasted information. What do you guys think? <laughs> All right. Now you know the three people that this video is meant for. It's pretty much everybody in a nutshell. And I feel this must be happening to a lot of other people because of the gentleman who reached out to me. Um, this gentleman has five sets of 15 kilowatt lithium battery. So that's cumulatively 75 kilowatt battery. And the guy reached out to me in a very distressed manner. You can tell he's really not happy. He's not like the happiest man on planet Earth right now because he spent a lot of money to get these batteries and he just keeps going back to his generator because this battery can barely hold on to energy charge. All right, so he says the battery gets fully charged, but just a little while, the battery will drain off all the energy. So he just pretty much knows this is a problem because this wasn't how the battery was. Like when he just got the battery, it was really holding on to power up for a lot of hours, pretty much over 12 hours. And um, he just wanted me to come, even though I told him I was really very busy. He said, no, he just wants me to get here, that he has spent a lot of money to get this. And having five sets of 15 kilowatt, that's a lot of money. I mean, that's enough to get somebody really worried. So when I got there, everything pretty much checked out. I mean, the diameter cables was great. Um, I checked the configurations that they did. It was fantastic. The solar panels were okay. There was just no problem. So I just couldn't place my fingers on what exactly the problem was. I was still moving around trying to check this, check that until eventually, boom, I found it. The settings was wrong. The setting he was using to charge the battery was the wrong settings. All right. Now, a lot of people don't even seem to know that you have different types of lithium battery. They just pretty much think that the Life for 4 batteries or the lithium ion phosphate battery, LFP for short, is the only lithium battery you have. <sighs> they kind of use it interchangeably. They just think that lithium battery is one. But lithium battery actually isn't one. Okay, we have different types of lithium battery. You have lithium ion phosphate battery, you have lithium cobalt oxide, um, you have lithium manganese oxide, you have lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide. That's a combination right there. 
you have lithium nickel cobalt aluminium oxide and you have lithium titanic now what differentiates each of these lithium batteries what the manufacturers have decided to use as its cathode all right so for instance the light fuel for lfp what they've decided to use for its cathode is phosphate all right so you have different types of lithium battery and as the lithium varies from lithium to lithium so is the charge voltage or the cutoff voltage and it even gets more interesting all right as it varies from one manufacturer to the other in production of this lithium battery so is also the voltage as well all right so you have different voltages for different lithium batteries for instance this right here the light before charges at 54.4 so these particular makers of these very different brands of your charge controller of course you know have lots of charge controllers so as it varies from manufacturer to manufacturer from brand to brand they've already configured their charge controller to be able to charge their batteries in a certain figure or way and in most places it's already configured to charge their own batteries all right or by extension some of the batteries that are compatible with all right so if this brand is compatible with this brand by all means use it but you need to find out okay because the different brands of charge controller and different brands of inverters have their different default settings that have already imputed inside the charge controller to be able to charge your lithium battery so if it's not configured or compatible with your lithium battery you might be doing damage to your lithium battery because at the long run it's going to damage the cell because what happens at the end of the day is that you might be charging your lithium battery with uh, a voltage that is above the recommended voltage by the manufacturers of this brand so as it varies from lithium battery to lithium battery different charge voltages are recommended by the manufacturer some could be 57.6 some could be 56.5 some could be 54.4 all right so make sure that you're using the right and the recommended charge controller to be able to charge this otherwise the 6000 cycles which is exactly 16 years is not guaranteed if you don't do the right thing you're supposed to do in setting up the system it's going to cut short the lifespan of your lithium battery you just need to find out what the charge voltage for your lithium battery is all right so it's really dangerous using different brands to charge a different brand all right so if you're using a brand a and you're using a brand b to charge uh, that particular lithium battery that's usually the um, red flag unless of course you're a professional who understands how to set the parameter so you can use the user function of course you know that uh, the charge controller or the inverter is supposed to give you options of uh user defined or the default set options that you have in the charge controllers all right so to be able to know what exactly you are meant to use to charge your lithium battery so let's assume for one second you're using a grower charge controller to charge this particular lithium ion phosphate battery that you have here the grower has been configured by the default settings to charge your lithium battery at 56 volt while this particular lithium ion phosphate battery that you have here charges at 54.4 because if you're using it to charge this particular lithium battery for a long period of time what you have succeeded in doing is that you've succeeded in damaging the cells of this lithium battery because you're using a voltage that is above the recommended voltage to charge this particular uh, lithium battery which is 54 volts but you're using 56 volts and in some cases 56.5 volts and also think about it seriously too what if you were using a charge controller that charges at 57.6 because there are charge controllers that charge your lithium battery at 57.6 you're charging this lithium battery that is meant to be charged at 54.4 volts with 57.6 volts you're essentially killing the cells of the lithium battery because you're using a voltage that is above the recommended voltage for the battery to be able to charge the battery so that happens to a lot of people who own lithium ion phosphate battery or other types of lithium battery because they're using the wrong voltage to charge their lithium battery so you have the victrons here you make sure that if you're using a victron lithium battery that you're also using a victron inverter or a victron charge controller or if you can get a hybrid system where you have all of them all in one place ensure that it's the same victron for a victron lithium battery make sure that you're using a grow watt charge controller for a grow watt battery okay so i don't know if a pole master has a lithium battery okay always make sure that you use uh, the same brand of lithium battery for the same charge controller and the same inverter but what happens in situations when you can have access to the same 
Bluetooth brand of charge controller for your lithium battery or the same inverter for your lithium battery. Simply use the user defined functions on your charge controller and your inverter. All right, make sure that you select the correct parameters for your battery. What is your charge voltage? What is the charge cutoff voltage? What's the float voltage for your lithium battery? It's very important. All right, and somebody might ask, what is the role of the BMS in this whole thing? Isn't the BMS supposed to do something about it? Take care of the batteries, protect the batteries. That's the function anyways. All right, yes, I agree, it could. All right, because in some BMS, if the voltage is above the recommended voltage by the manufacturers of this product, it might cut it off. But the question is, why would you want to put so much pressure on your BMS? Because your BMS is going to be under constant pressure. Because the BMS is supposed to be on standby and pretty much kick in when it needs to. Not to be performing that function constantly. It's going to make the BMS to fail. And that's exactly what you don't want. So I would like to ask you guys for a special favor. Please. I've never had to ask you guys for any favor before. <laughs> All right, so I would love you guys to follow me on Instagram. For some reason, I've not been able to get the desired traction that I need on Instagram. So if you're watching this video, please kindly go over to Instagram and follow us at uh, this handle that you have on the screen. And also follow us on Facebook as well. We will appreciate this because we would love to have that desired traction on Instagram, on Facebook, so that everybody will get to also have this information that you're also getting. All right, so let's spread the fun, let's spread the information, and let's all have fun together in the solar world. That's all we have time for today, guys. Thank you so very much for being part of this. If you haven't subscribed, <laughs> come on. What exactly are you waiting for? This is exactly how you support what we are doing, and we're so very grateful, all right? So we would love you to take your time to click on that subscription button. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to share, and do not forget to like. See you guys in the next video.